Peace. My name is Piper Carter. I live in Detroit, Michigan. I use arts and culture to bring awareness to justice issues. Much of my work centers on, I'd say, working with artists or building with artists. I also have created my own organization called We Found Hip Hop that centers um, women in hip hop. We produce a retreat for women in hip hop in um, historic Idlewild, which is historically black owned land. We do that because many black women and women of color have not historically had access to nature in that kind of way. So it's um, really a safe space for us to go and reconnect with nature and build because it's really important for entrepreneurs, for people in general, but especially entrepreneurs or activists or anyone doing this work to be able to rejuvenate yourselves and, and, and reconnect. We researched the filters that filter out lead. There's like a military grade, I know, military, yeah, I'm very anti-military, but um, we researched the military grade filter for water that filters out all of the chemicals and impurities, um, especially lead and, and some other, you know, and many other, like 99% of the other uh, chemicals and impurities that are in water. And um, we purchased uh, 350 filters that we were able to distribute because at the time in Flint, um, the, the government had uh, had a program where they were giving filters, but they were requiring that folks um, show ID. And as you know, many of our folks do not have an ID or maybe maybe they don't have access to even obtain an ID. We all know that water is life. We are all made up of 70% water. The earth is made up of 70% water. We know that water is being used to wage war globally, right? In Detroit, we've experienced atrocities um, that are very similar to um, countries around, what other countries have experienced around the world. And so um, what we do is we connect with our allies and our friends and our comrades that are in other cities to learn, right, about how they were doing things. Viewing us as a global majority and from viewing um, the challenges that we face and the issues that we face and the struggles that we go through as being connected, this is how we're able to be stronger. This is how we're able to um, fight, you know, um, what is, you know, what is these systems that oppress us? So yeah, I mean, for me, um, I, I root myself, my thinking, my orientation is rooted in a, a global identity because I view myself as a citizen of the earth and a protector of Mother Earth and, and of our water. Um, and I view myself as a steward of our planet. And so with that, no matter where I am in this world, um, I know that I'm connected to something that's greater than me, to, to people who, you know, are going through what, what I'm going through and, and who have visioned ideas, you know, who have visioned ideas and um, solutions, right? in impossible situations and what we would consider impossible situations. And I feel that we've gone through a lot of that as well in Detroit. And so um, I look to a lot of the folks, especially folks in Detroit that have been doing this work a long, long time. I look to my elders to show me, you know, things that I, that I didn't know or things that I hadn't seen or couldn't see. Um, and I think also too with the work that I do, my main focus is to use arts and culture because that's 
I would say our language, the language of our people, right? Our people speak by the drum, by music, by poetry, by dance, by art, by, you know, um, symbols, you know, and, and these rhythms speak to us. We, we understand what they mean, right? They mean things like we, we understand. And so I think that, you know, if when we see examples in, I'd say like mainstream culture, right? We've seen a trend play out because it was in a music video, right? Or you, or it was on Instagram or somewhere else on social media. We've seen, oh, and then we see that it explodes or like more people do it, right? That's because even though we're in this age of technology, right? Those principles right like they still apply like we're, we're still human beings and we still respond to color we still respond to rhythm right we still respond to stories and so I think that you know there's a space for folks who you know are going to read policy and and go through pages and pages of legal documents and and we need everyone at the table so that's the superpower of the folks who can do that and there are people who can take those words that are in the policy or the demands from the people in the street turn right then your destination will be on the right and turn it into poetry turn it into beauty turn it into a song a dance a painting and i think that what's important about that is that that is what helps to shift culture that is what helps to shift mindsets that's what helps to build and gain the the minds and hearts of the people and Part of our job, part of our struggle is to win the hearts and minds of the people. And so narrative work is really important. Um, people seeing themselves as a part of the narrative, seeing themselves as a part of being the solution. Um, and that goes all the way around, right? So folks who are not most impacted seeing themselves as part of the solution and also folks who are most impacted seeing themselves as part of the solution because we always want to move from a place of power um, and supporting people in their power.